Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Last time was a little bit of a longer episode, but we managed to pull out the second needle and keep it from falling into enemy hands, so that's good. So now we need to make our way off to find the third needle. But before doing that, I want to go ahead and give these magic gloves to Kumatora. Yeah, because that's a good upgrade for her. Let's definitely get those on her right away. Yeah, increases her offense by 14 and magic psychic points by 146. So that's outstanding. So let's get that on her right away and we should be good to go. All right, let's keep on going. I guess uh, the only place we can really head is to the right. So let's go do that. What the? Hey, get out of my way. Yes. Uh, I'm just gonna go past you to keep looking for needles. Is that cool? What? All right, and now we get to take on the squeaks with the Z. The squeaks, which is fine. Ow! Yeah, so just hit him a few times, and he goes down pretty easily. Wow, Komitor even did some good damage there, and he was taught a lesson. Yes. Eh, you yeah, know, problem. Oh, really? Wait, hold on. How can you be a hip cat yet a mouse at the same time? <laughs> uh, is that good or bad? <laughs> My wife and seven kids. They're on the highway. They'll be fine. So he's a ladies, he's a ladies man, but yet he has a wife and seven kids. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. He's homesick, just like Ness from the first game. Mole crickets? Hmm. All right then. Well, that kind of gives you a hint on where to go next. So let's go ahead and head east. Whoa. Hey, it's a mole cricket. Yes. Huh? What are you talking about? No? Oh, yeah. I remember this. That was like three years ago. Oh, great. Wait, we're going to fight now? Uh, okay. I'm not controlling it at this point in BCS Universe. The game is controlling it for me. So apparently we're just going to blindly follow this mole cricket. Not like we have time to go... Or because, or because we completely have time to do this. It's not like we need to go save the world or anything like that. <laughs> that dude's watching like, why are those kids following that cricket? Like, what the hell is going on? All right. I guess we're going to be here now. Okay. What do we got here? Yes. What? Oh. Okay. Well, let's go. And who exactly is going to raise your right hand? Okay, great. Well, but there isn't a hole. Oh, I see. Wow. Kind of a magical hole there. All right. <laughs> but how do we know if it's insignificant if you don't read it? Ah, see what they did there? Yeah. Uh, okay. And this is basically where we started Chapter 5, if you recall. So, let's go ahead and head down here. Wow. This area kind of reminds me of the uh, of Stonehenge Laboratory, or the Stonehenge Dungeon back in the first game. A Lotus Root. Hmm. All right. Yes. Oh, terrific. Well, it looks like there's some steam coming from down here, so let's go check it out. Oh, it's a hot springs. Terrific. There's no need to rush. Five seconds rejuvenates Mole Cricket Spring Water. And once again, the haiku with an extra syllable. So it's like a haiku plus one. Yep. I hope you don't mind me turbo mo moding past restoring my HP and MP. I feel, feel like you don't really care about that. So, okay. Well, it looks like all the paths are blocked, so there's not really a whole lot we can do except just follow the path. Okay, what do we got here? This is the Elder Cricket, apparently. Okay. Is this the Cricket? Yep. Oh, terrific. Great. Uh, all right. Great, what are the rules? 10 minutes, okay. Oh. So basically, wait, is this gonna be one of those, like, hometown judge decisions against Little Mac in Mike Tyson's Punch-Out? Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, I 
would love to go ahead and fight this thing. Sure. Let's do it. If you say no, you end up fighting him anyway. All right, here we go. Now it's time to go one-on-one -on -one with the mole cricket. Let's see if he's gotten any better. Nope. Nope. He definitely has not. <laughs> we got two experience. <laughs> That's great. Uh, yeah. I mean, you're a cricket. Uh, okay. Woohoo! We win! Um, actually, is there anything we need? I don't know. Oh, there is something we need. Oh, yeah. Actually, maybe we can send these crickets out into the real world to try and, uh, to try and figure out, uh, where these things are. They can be kind of like our spies for us, too. Oh, all right. Go through this mole cricket hole and head up to the mountain. Oh, terrific. Well, let's go do it. Oh, yeah, the dark dragon itself. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, then why did you try to fight me? Oh, excellent. So they're going to eat the uh, lotus roots for us. That's great. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Sh sure. We'll, uh... Great. So basically now we have to train these guys. Oh. Uh, absolutely. And if you say no... Uh, if you say no, uh, you basically just, they basically just say, Oh, well, sorry to bother you or something like that. Oh, great. And now we're going to get an item. What do we got here? And we get the Mole Cricket Brother. Uh-huh. Oh, terrific. <laughs> oh, I see. All right. So basically, it's... Here, I'll, uh, I'll show you here. So basically, it's an item that leads back if we get lost in the in what's going to be coming up next. Okay, so I'll start by going over here. If you just examine the lotus root, the mole crickets eat it up for you. All right, very good. Oh, excellent. And now we get a map to go through the cricket hole. Whoa, holy cow. This looks incredibly confusing. Wow, look at this place. Man, how the hell are we gonna do this? Oh well, I see that. <laughs> you don't do pointless chit chat with us, that's great. Oh, well, part of that is true. But, oh, we can save with this mole cricket because it's green. Great, of course I believe you, why wouldn't I? Perfect. Okay, very good. But the next frog, you're not a frog. I don't want to save my game with you. <laughs> oh well, hey, you know what? Not all of us can achieve our goals there, buddy. So, okay. Well, let's check out this lotus root. Good job. Whee! Very good. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yes. Oh, very good. What do we got here? Ooh, sincerity dumplings. Yes. What exactly do they do? Oh, well, that's good. But I, well, but if you make them every day, like, I don't know if there's, you lose profits because if you don't sell, but okay. Well, there's definitely some things that we can sell that we don't need anymore. Like, uh, let's see, what can I get rid of? Well, I guess I don't really need the friend's yo-yo anymore because both both uh, Lucas and Kumatora have better weapons. Um, you know, I should get rid of those rubber capes. So just kind of put them in storage. Okay, she can get rid of the fresh mint. That, throw my gloves. That. Ooh, I should re-equip her souvenir dress. Um, pamphlet, yeah, I'll probably put that in storage. Actually, hold on, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of one of them. And I can, because I keep the other one. Okay, let's see, what else? Does he have anything we don't need? Yeah, Aquarius places that. Um, anything else? Nah, that's good. So basically, I just needed her to sell some stuff. Okay, let's re-equip the, uh, 
this. You and your dress. And okay, very good. Okay, BCS Universe, now we get to tackle one of my least favorite parts of this whole game. Those of you that have played this before, you know what I'm talking about. That up. Thank you very much. Okay, now, I do, that'd be great. Oh, it'll be fine. There's no enemies down here, so it's actually not that bad. Now, we have to go through a little maze here. If there's a turn, turn. Yes, that is actually the go that is actually what you need to do. These guys are exactly right. Whenever you can turn, turn. And if you do it, you'll be just fine, for the most part. Okay, absolutely. Okay, so let me take a second, kind of mentally prepare myself, remind myself how this goes, and then we will take on this maze. Okay, let's do it. Now, remember what they said, whenever you can turn, turn. Okay, okay so we can turn, let's turn. And basically gotta follow the path because you don't really have a choice here. And turn. And turn and turn. And turn. That should take us up here. Yep. Now we want to go this way. Turn again. Now this part is tricky. You actually don't want to take any of these routes and just bypass them. Go down this way. Okay, now it's turn. I believe it's now you go up this way. Yep, okay, I'm doing good. And turn. Yeah, this is good. Now this may not be the most direct route, but it's the route that works the best for me. Okay, so don't go straight, turn. And I believe it is turn. And okay, uh, now it is, don't go straight, but turn and turn. And now it's turn this way. And then, yeah, don't go straight, but turn and turn. Okay, I think I'm doing good. And turn, don't have a choice here. And boom. Okay, I think I've made it. I think I'm in the clear now. So don't go straight and turn. Well, I don't have a choice here. And up this way. Yeah, I, once you get to this part, it's pretty linear. Okay, I believe that's the exit. And go up this way. Oh man, we're doing good. Yeah, see the path's pretty linear at this point. And up this way. And up this way. And is this it? And we've made it out! Woohoo! Nailed it! Alright. Yeah, that is a pain in the butt to do that part for sure. Alright, let's go up this way. Great success! Alright. Woo! Yes. Yep. Sure. You got it. All right, terrific. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a map here, but all right, let's see what we got here. Yes, man, we're in this now. This is the... okay. This must be the obligatory ice area of the game because every game needs an ice. Oh crap! And we got a new enemy here, a ten yeti. Oh, he's surfing ten, dude. Okay, I'm gonna assume that they're weak to fire. So let's get that going. And we'll just get them going. Not bad. All right. There we go. Fire! There we go. Ow! Okay, we'll just finish this guy. There you go. No problems there. Got him. Woohoo! Very good. Oh man, I'm good at experience there. Oh boy. Well, we got the jump on this guy, the chili dog. Ah, see? A chili dog? Man. Kind of weird for Boney to be attacking his own kind, I would imagine, but... One, two, three. There you go. Just like that. And with the... I find it's easier with that kind of music for me to get my, uh... To get my attacks going. 
Okay, let's take on a chili dog for real. See, as opposed to a... Oh, boy! I'm gonna have to heal up Bone after this one. There you go. No problems there. Very good. And another level for Lucas. Excellent. And a level for Boney. Terrific. Okay, let's take this chest. Ooh, some double jerk. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up. Boney after that one. Very good. All right. Let's keep on moving here. Ugh. Okay, no problems there. So let's keep on moving here. Ooh. Bypass these enemies here. Oh, nope, guess not. Okay. You know what we're gonna do for this? I'm gonna use the power, the new power of the, the new BCS universe. Let's do it. And I'm gonna take out these uh, Yeti first. Ow. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Oh! Nice shot. Ow. Okay, let's keep taking on these guys here. Oops. Here we go. There you go. So that's what I would do in that situation. Just use the power of the BCS universe. Wow. A luxury banana. Nice. I didn't even get a level for that? Wow, that's crazy. Okay, let's definitely heal up after that one. Uh, anybody else need some healing? Yeah, Kumatora can use some healing too. Okay, I want to say there's a chest around here that we can get. There it is. I knew there was a chest around here. Ooh, a cancer bracelet. Let's get that. Let's get that on Kumatora right away. Wow, big increase uh, in defense. Definitely want to get that on her right away. I like again. I like having these speed items on. Oh, Lydia's here! Oh, excellent. All right. Oh, boy. Let's just keep on moving, I guess. Wow, that was tough. But well, we got another level for Kumatora. Terrific. Man, those ten Yetis hit really hard. So let's... We definitely, we definitely need some healing on Lucas after that one. And let's get Boney... Let's get rid of his fleas. Bony got inflected with fleas. Somehow a Yeti can in infect fleas. Hey, Snowcap Mountain! Oh, terrific! That's well, great that Lydia's here. And, okay! We finally made it! Wait, is this the item card guy? Awesome. Uh, let's see. Do we need anything? No. Do we need to deposit anything? Eh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these rubber capes. Of those because I might need those a little bit later. And Bug Spray, we don't need that. I'll keep the Capricorn Bracelet because I can sell that. And. Yeah, we're good. Oh, thank you. Terrific. All right. Let's see what we got here. Hey, there's a place to save our game. Much needed. <laughs> yes. All right. Now we've made it here to the top of the mountain. But they say that Lydia is here. Is he, she, she, he the key to the next needle? You'll have to wait till next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, BCS Buster LP, check out my donations page, and as always, take care, y'all.